Hi everyone, welcome to the second part of linear regression model. In this part, we will talk about how can you create a linear regression model using a data frame. Look, here we will use a data frame here, which we have two vectors here, R studies and exam scores. R studies are a different vector, exam score is another vector. So, in these two vectors, we have to see if there is a relation or not. If you look at this here, like this, like students are increasing, they are going to increase their score. So, in these two vectors, we have to see if there is a relation or not. If you look at this here, like this, 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 like Around 9.5 hours. So let's start in our. We have sample data in which we have our studies and the exam scores. Our studies 2 to 10 and the exam scores are 55 to 95. So first we will create this vector. First is our studies. Next is exam scores. Now with the help of these two vectors, we will create a data frame named student underscore data. So we have data frame in which we have two vectors, R studies and the exam score. So we'll create a data frame here. Now with the help of that, first of all, we want to visualize this data. We will use plot. In this plot, we will take one variable as student data dollar R study. So from this data frame, we are taking R studies and from student data, we are taking exam score. So we have two variables. On the x axis, we have R studies. In the y axis, we have exam scores. And the main heading is R study versus exam score. So let's see that. What's the plot of this? When we draw this, we have a, this plot and we're showing a positive relation. Right? Now, to create a model of regression model, we use LM function. LM say exam scores are dependent on R study and we're taking data from student data. So when we run this, we have this model and we have a list of all 12. To view this model, we will go for summary. The summary is here. And now you can see here. In this, the coefficient of R study is 4.86 and the intercept is 46.35. So we can say that number of marks equals to 4.8 times of R study plus 46.35. And if you just see the p-value, p-value is very small. So we can say that this model is reliable. And the multiple r square and the adjusted r square is quite near to 1. Now, we are going to plot this model. When we plot this model, run this. Now, we have to put our cursor in the console and press enter four times. First enter. When we entering first time, we have this residual versus fitted plot, which is giving a positive line. Right, a linear relation. Next, we have QQ plots. Then we have scale location. And the last one is Dazzle versus Leibniz. Now, we want to predict how much marks secured by a student if he study around 9.5 hours. So, we are writing here new data and we are creating a data frame in which we have one variable asked to be 9.5 hours. So, predict marks. So, first of all, we are creating a data frame, new data frame, in which we have R study 9.5 hours. And now, to predict marks, we use this predict model. Now, we are going to predict this model. And the new data is equal to new underscore data. So, now we are going to predict this. When we predict that, see here, the marks are 192.6. But we want to print here in the console. So, we use print projected marks or predicted marks which is 92.58. So I think this is clear to everyone. Hope it is helpful. Thank you.